Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and I accidentally inspired Coachman to create the all new 252 RBS Freedom Express that you see behind us. Take a look at this thing because it is very cool. It is in most ways very, very similar to a 248 RBS, but what happened here is I said, hey, Coachman, love your Freedom Expresses. That 248's awesome sauce. Is there any way though I could get you to custom build me a couple of those with theater seats instead of just a jackknife sofa? I said, man, we love that idea. But when we checked into it, we found out that a theater seat was too big and bulky. The slide out would have crushed it when it closed and we can't be having that. So what they did is they revised that model and came out with a whole additional floor plan. This does not replace the 248. It is a complement, a sister beside the 248. Both are still in production. So they swapped out the U-dinette for a two-bench dinette to get a little room by that slide for the sofa. They also did extend the floor plan slightly, but that has a couple cool benefits. It does mean it's a bigger living room. It also means that this has a little more counter space that the 248 could really benefit from having. Overall, I don't know if I could be much more happier than this. In a weird way, it's my little camper baby. Man, this is so good. This is so good. I love it. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Freedom Expresses in general. And when I made that custom request and said, hey, can you get me one of those nice theater seats and a 248 Freedom Express directly across from that awesome entertainment center, this is exactly what I had in mind. Now they're about, you know, they're, they're very similar. And again, this does not replace the 248. This is a sister too. This is a lateral in comparison. The 248 has a jackknife, not a theater seat, but it does have a larger U dinette. So they each still have, I think, some really critical defining features, and we will have both of them here at Halet RV uh, because they're not completely interchangeable. They're certainly close, but it's kind of like when you're looking at, say, uh, you know, like the two Hemsworth brothers in Hollywood. They're close, but they're not exactly the same, but you can certainly tell they come from the same bloodline and DNA now, can't you? Now, let me get dug into the really important features here. One of my favorite aspects of a Freedom Express is that taller six foot nine ceiling because it means that I have extra headroom in the shower, but that also means a taller slide out. It means uh, more storage. It means a lot of things, and the whole camper just looks and feels nicer, you know? This RV feels like a super slide without having a super slide. That's what's so brilliant about it, because you're getting the features of a bigger trailer in a smaller, lighter, less expensive trailer. And that sounds good to me. Now, all of the windows that you see will open for airflow. You can also see how they have some nice blackout kind of shades. I got the slide side window there open for reference. Also, if you take a note down here, you can see how that does still fold down into a sleeper. So it's primarily a couple's camper, but we do still have some guest capacity. Something you will not see, though, is carpet. None of it. Completely carpetless and ventless, easy cleaning, ideal for if you're going to be in a sandy territory. You don't, you just want to swiffer the floor up and call it good. You know, that's what you're going to get here. Now, uh, you see over here, this is something that normally was available only in the Liberty Edition. They said this floor plan, it just absolutely needs uh, a little more attention to the entertainment center. So they added that electric space heating fireplace down here, which if you're gonna just summer camp, you don't have to use, summer camp sounds like something else. If you're going to camp in the summertime, <laughs> uh, that is where, you know, you could just have it on for cool lighting effects. But if you're gonna spring and fall camp, that thing can pump a lot of heat into your RV. And obviously we have one of my favorite things, the No Neck Wrecker Entertainment Center directly across from Boardwalk and Park Place, which is what I call the two seats in the theater position. Uh, now this thing also, it has, I mean, when you say, okay, so it's like a super slide camper, but smaller, it feels like you had to lose some storage to do it. But I don't think they did. Because to begin with down here, we have doors for easy access to the storage below the dinette. You can see the previously hidden hinges now exposed and that table right there, fully free floating. I would say you could take it outside for picnic time, but you don't have to because the camper already comes with its own picnic table. Now they did a really smart thing here. If you look at that entertainment center, you can see how there's a door to the left behind the TV. That would be too deep for like a pantry. 
and Freedom Express recognized that. Really smart people who actually camp work there. And they said, what we need is we need some shelf space. We want a mini pantry tainment center while still offering a full-on pantry on the other side over here. You're getting the best of both worlds and not an ounce of space gone to waste. Now you've obviously noticed that TV pivots for easy viewing, but as we get down here, you see a couple handy kitchen drawers, all plywood box, no particle board, uh, you know, all about the base, no treble. But as we get up here, you see all sorts of pantry shelving. But the thing is, they realize that it's deep enough where if you wanted or needed extra closet capacity, they made those shelves removable. You can just simply lift those right out of there and slide them out of the way so that you have as much or as little pantry or hanging storage or any combination thereof, whatever it is that really works for you. Then we have the much larger optional 12 volt DC compressor fridge right here. This thing only uses about three or four amps once it's down to temperature. It's easy to operate, to select your temps, to turn off, and it is travel safe and it cools faster. So it's a, it's a lot of benefits. This is all pocket screwed cabinetry. And once again, remember, because we are a little bit taller in the ceiling, we have a little bit more cabinetry, about three extra inches all the way through. All of the counters are a sealed edge press membrane kind of material, whether you're uh, back there in the bathroom or over here on the kitchen space. And we've got a nice stainless double sink down here. With a big window right there, when you're doing dishes, you can keep an eye on your campsite. Not to mention, you have a full viewing window in your entry door over here. But uh, the stainless double sink, what's nice about this is this is a smaller camper. Some folks might want to get off the beaten path and do some boondocking. Uh, it is important to mention on that note, this RV does have roof solar prep standard on it, but you can use one sink instead of a giant farm sink to conserve a little bit more water. There actually are ways to avoid wasting water with a farm sink, but that's a, a kind of a common perception that people have with them. It's not entirely untrue, but I'm not doing my job if I don't talk about one of my favorite things. The utensil drawer, the giant sink around drawer here that goes under the sink that provides you easily the best use of space of any manufacturer I've ever seen in that area. But we are still not done because as we go down even further, you see that you have like a full on big shelf down there where you can have all your like dish soaps and some baking sheets for, you know, cookies, biscuits, all that sort of thing. But we're still not done done with the storage because coachman as a whole they're very good about storage like wildwoods become very good but coachman just as a rule it's something that they understand so they don't sacrifice storage above seating spaces they know that every little nook and cranny really does make a difference especially in a smaller camper like this but the hits just keep on coming remember that table that we looked at over at the dining area nothing says you have to leave it there so if you don't want to sit at the dining table to eat you can make yourself Say it with me, one, two, three, a Dinofa. And you can enjoy your food here while you watch your Jackie Gleason on TV. That's a Back to the Future reference in case you weren't aware. I guess if you have to explain it, it wasn't really well done, was it? <laughs> now what's fantastic here is these are heat and massage. And you notice how they're wall huggers. Like I have that left seat right there fully reclined. So if you want to take a little bit of a midday siesta, or if you're like me, I, st I just stay up late. I just stay up later than the rest of my family, and I like to watch a little bit of TV and unwind before I crash for the night. I would definitely be occupying that theater seat in the wee evening hours. Now, back here into the bathroom, we'll see this in travel mode with the slide closed in a few minutes. That's a porcelain foot flush stool, by the way. And the leg room in here. Oh, thank you. So, I mean, if two of you do need to be in here, you could maneuver around one another. It is certainly going to be a little more conducive to a single person than a double. And I also want to point out the taller ceiling means more headroom in the shower for somebody like me. Nice uh, medicine cabinet on the wall over here. Not just a mirror glued against the wall. Remember, this is all that sealed edge thermal foil kind of countertop material. I think I mentioned that as a porcelain stool. Now, when I first looked at this, I was like that towel hook right there, those two octopus coat hanger hooks, they're a little bit low. But I went and actually grabbed, like I hung my jacket on it, and you know what? It worked just fine. There's enough room behind that toilet that you're not going to have any issues with it. It's actually a really brilliant use of space, and it allowed them to maintain that really smexy looking window back here in the bathroom, which of course has a privacy shade. Now, if you're interested in little things, this is what I call screwdriver work. You're like, oh, I wish you had a bigger fan. 
All you have to do is call our team here at Halid RV. Little upgrades like that, we can knock out before you ever take the RV home. We can even have it rolled into like financing or all one figure, whatever you guys need. That's, that's just easy stuff, you know? Now remember that convertible pantry closet combo job? <laughs> There's more of it. There's even more of it back here. And they use hanging racks instead of hanging rods up top there. That way your stuff stays where you left it when you're done. Or you could just load this thing up with all kinds of little mini totes or loose storage or whatever you need. Now something that we haven't seen and moving forward, you can see that there is a full on privacy door over there for the bedroom. So if you do have a guest uh, sleeping in the, the, uh, the dining area or if you're like I just mentioned, me and my family, if my wife is in there crashing and I want to stay up late, I can be in here and watch TV and the lights won't bother her because there's a hard door that closes, not just a curtain. Now as we come around this corner, we are greeted by a 60 by 80 true queen bed, which gives, again, the taller people like me more room to be able to stretch out. So we're taller ceiling, we're nice big seating, we're taller shower. That's one of the things I personally love about Freedom Express RVs. They are a lighter weight trailer that is not built smaller. They're just built with more things like aluminum and Asdell to help keep the weight in check. But you remember how we keep seeing all these awesome storage solutions? Well, the hits just keep on coming. Because first of all, last year, the bed did not easy lift like this and look how beautifully it's all finished off. Now, inside here, you can see the aluminum skeleton work in that mechanism with those struts helping you lift that up and down. And these stands, basically, the, the underbed stands or whatever you want to call them, they are pretty hefty. If you want to sit on these and you want to be able to like fold some laundry or something, you want to do some craft work, there's all kinds of different things you could do with this space. It is a very flexible space now just by what they did under the bed. This is actually a suggestion of one of the members of our Halid RV team uh, that uh, you know we have here. So I love how they're really listening to the feedback and I think that's why this product is just so, so good. You see how there's little shoe garages down in there and there's space for a nice big tote you can easily get in and out. <laughs> but we're not done. You can see there's another shoe garage over there, but what else do we have? We have dual XL dresser drawers on both sides of the bed, and something that I like about them, you do not need to lift the bed to get to those. So our daily, everyday storage is always accessible. There are a few other manufacturers I've seen with a similar concept, but usually their drawers open inward. It makes less sense. You will also see household and USB plugs on both sides of that bed. So it doesn't matter which side you're on, your CPAP friendly, your phone charge friendly, those hanging closets on both sides are mirrored. You've got that beautiful full windshield just letting a flood of light in here. And I don't even have them turned on, but you got a pair of reading lamps right above that too. Uh, up top here, you can see how they're not giving us just a shelf, but a full cabinet. They give us an extra vent above the bed. And you might notice how all of the air vents are, uh, they can be closed and turned to really control your air individually. And once again, TV hookups over here in the bedroom, straight across from the bed. All the entertainment in this camper, easy to view. There's even outside TV hookups. You could have multi-zone entertainment going on if you're so inclined. And just like its sister, the 248 RBS, this new 252 retains exceptionally high levels of travel accessibility. Frankly, the only thing you're going to lose out on in transit is just this television. Even the way that they put the pantry makes it so that you can get to that in transit. If you need to stop, get to the fridge, pack it up, get to the bathroom, use the bed, you can do all of that within the confines of either a storage facility parking site or a uh, parking spot at a travel stop or like Walmart or something like that. And a little RV pro tip for you this morning from your old Uncle Josh here. You see the way I've got that table set up? That is how you want your dining tables in any sort of booth dinette situation to be in transit. It's always best to fold it down because it basically prevents the table from shifting around. Because the last thing you want to do when you get to your destination is find out that that speed bump or chuck hole or pothole or something that you hit way back there a couple miles back caused your table to flop around and it's been banging around inside the trailer ever since. So you appreciate little tips like this, hit that subscribe button because we do a lot more than just RV tours here at Halet RV. Actually, about the only thing we don't do is hidden dealer fees, so you're welcome for the convenience. <laughs> so one of the first things to always talk about, I believe, on a Freedom Express is something I often forget to talk about, ironically, is their use of Asdell. Freedom Express is one of the brands that really 
spurred the Asdell movement. They were doing it before anybody even knew what it was. Uh, it's the layer directly under the fiberglass, if you're not aware. It is lighter weight. The material itself cannot rot mold mildew. Um, it, it is one of the ways that they're able to make the RV full size without being super heavy. You know, there's a lot of good benefits that go to it. There's a few other secondary benefits of Asdell. If you'd like to learn more about it, if you're curious about what it means, what it does, give us a shout. We'll, we'll fill you in. Power tongue jack doing the lifting for us. Easy swap out 20 pound tanks. Room for a couple batteries. Notice how they're putting our uh, tire on the front here. That leaves the bumper open in case you feel like adding accessories. Another nice thing they do here, whether you do or don't get the 12 volt fridge, you always have a handy battery disconnect right here. The underbelly is enclosed and heated. And if you're noticing, the belly almost looks a little bit like bubble wrap. It's basically like it's a double-sided thermal pocketed layer to help keep the RV uh, warmer or cooler, whatever you happen to be pumping into it. It's something, uh, to give you an idea who else is doing this, Montana fifth wheels are doing this, and you're getting the same thing here in a lightweight little half-ton job, or frankly, a big SUV could probably handle this one like an Expedition. And it's all those fine little details that really sweeten the pot for me on Freedom Express. Like, little things like this, like they have a really rough textured seal gripping wall. They have a T-shape on their wiper seal to make sure that wiper seal always flips all the way in or out. And it's actually triple sealed. You have dual T-shaped wiper seals and a bulb seal when the slides all the way open or closed, making sure the water stays out. The windows are tinted, they ventilate, you know, and, and they're non-frameless windows, which means they get far more ventilation, which is fantastic. I also love the fact that Freedom Express is very good about centralizing their hookups. You see how everything is located right there, and that is the best corner of the RV for all that stuff to be located, because right here is usually where the park hookups are. Now there's a black tank flush there, a full outside utility shower. She is rear camera ready. And I also want to point out uh, that ladder. You see how it sticks up pretty high like that? We're gonna talk more about that on the roof, but that is an awesome safety feature. Uh, below the top center marker light, you can see she is backup camera ready. And I tell you what, they gave us a pretty, pretty awesome patio on this one. And I love that they put the biggest awning on this thing they possibly could. They really maximize the patio space here. It does have tilt arms with a locking kind of mechanism so you can leave them tilted. Uh, also, you see up top there, it does have uh, LED lighting. So if you want to spend some more time out here at night, you can. Now they have improved the outdoor kind of kitchen situation on these significantly. We still have a great outdoor kitchen space here with a larger refrigerator than most little lightweight trailers tend to have. They got a nice little, I, I love the spice rack. Look at that spice rack. You got old Pete the dog up there, easy reach outlets and a real sink with a drain to a holding tank and yet another utensil drawer. Now, by the way, those plastic inserts in there are removable. So if you want to take that over the picnic table or clean it or hide little things, small things, like a matchbook under there, you know, if your Uncle Gary likes to always steal the matchbook in the lighters. <laughs> now, a couple of people have been asking, what is that thing right there? That is the access panel to a 12 volt refrigerator, by the way. Now over here, uh, when I say that they've improved the outdoor kitchen situation, I don't mean what we already looked at. I also mean they've gone away from the free-floating Coleman camp grill. They have added a gas grill quick connect, which also makes this like Blackstone capable. But you can see that they're including one of the handy, nice little 17-inch uh, griddle situations right here with a very useful little uh, removable side shelf made from the same material as the countertop inside. Now for towing, this thing is ideal deal for half tons, not just due to the weight being under 6,000 pounds and the, sh and the manageable length, but the wide stance stability axles within this limited length will make this thing tow and track fantastically. Your gas grill quick connect, by the way, is located kind of between the stabilizer jack and the rear tire, just in case you're curious. Stable steps on here were once optional, I, I believe have just since become standard. I know that we just have been doing them 10 times out of 10 here at Halo RV. The door is anti-slam also. That's something that the Freedom Expresses didn't used to do. We've also got outside TV hookups right here. And where that's going to be really handy, remember how I mentioned this RV has its own picnic table? Well, you're not exactly seeing that under all this gorgeous patio space yet, now are you? That's because she's down in here. You got a magnet hold back making for easy access into this baggage compartment. And up there, that is your picnic table. Now. They're shipping it inside the brown box. You know, it's kind of like Christmas, except you open an ugly cardboard over here. 
<laughs> but the fact is, it's also keeping that table protected until you take it home. Now, they have this purpose-built carrier, you can see, so that it does not get in the way of this very large storage compartment that they have up here. On the left, that is where you would put a charge controller if you do choose to add some solar to this. You can see the aluminum skeleton work. And something I love on these is how you have full length pass-through lighting. Basically, they have a second awning light, but dedicated here to the pass-through, so you can see what you're doing from either side. And notice how they're giving us bigger doors on both sides for easier access. Very nice when you're trying to load a hitch in and out of that thing. Here's another couple pro tips for you from your Uncle Josh RV nerd. When I was putting her away, I noticed something. There's perfect space in here to be able to put all your grill stuff encapsulated in the outside camp kitchen. This grill, griddle, whatever you want to call it, um, when it's out of the box, it takes up far less space and it fits perfectly into that little spot right there. It ain't going anywhere. Then that little side shelf that we saw, I don't believe they did that on purpose but look at how perfectly that slots in there. That is ideal. Then your, your little bracket, you can slide it over here beside the fridge. One thing I recommend though, put the round side down so you're not gouging everything up. Couple quick notes up here, like the roof solar prep plug, the omnidirectional antenna, which does have access to be upgraded to the Weingard Gateway Wi-Fi system, and a roof attic vent over here to keep the summer sunshine from building up in that roof and uh, you know causing everything to get well, just hotter and sin up in there. I also want to point out something that I don't think everybody immediately appreciated the last time we had a Freedom Express come in. That ladder coming up extra high above the roof line, I'm a very big fan of that. As a person who gets up and down off of roofs all the time, not every manufacturer does something like that. That gives you more to hold on to, that keeps you safer, and it is not increasing the height of the camper. You're not going to hit something with it. It's still lower than the air conditioner. That is a good safety feature. Every camper needs a name, I'm going to call her Frida. The Freedom Express just feels right. Doesn't have to make sense, and if you're thinking like I'm thinking, that means you probably need psychiatric assistance. But short of that, remember, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we put a lot of time and effort into our videos here. If you appreciate that, please hit that subscribe button, leave us some comments, click the little like, thumbs up button, share it to your social media if you're so inclined. Uh, we, we really appreciate that. Uh, short of that, if there's anything else, like if you see something you like, leave us a comment. If I've missed something, you have a question, or if there is something you'd like to see changed. My feedback created a whole new floor plan. Who knows what your feedback could potentially result in? I know that it won't do anything if you don't share it. So remember, we don't do hidden dealer fees. Uh, short of that, though, we do just about everything else. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everybody.